Good on. Ah, look, I'm salam, Auntie Aisha. <laughs> what? She still can't say it. Assalamu alaikum, Aisha. There you go. Oh, that's exactly what I just said. Oh, is that grinder? Can anyone we should meet? No. no. I'm getting married. You are? Who's the lucky lady? Don't know yet. What do you mean? I'm getting an arranged marriage. Well, assisted marriage. That's what we're calling it these days. Dare I ask, what about love? You grow to love the person you're with. What, like Stockholm Syndrome? <laughs> so, your ideas for your next film? I could follow my childhood friend to marry a stranger chosen by his parents. My big fat arranged wedding. <laughs> Meet the parents first. <laughs> love contractually. Huh. Mo here, Mo the matchmaker. No photos? No, no photos yet. You're thinking with your lulu. You need to be thinking with your nunu, OK? What's your education, bro? He's a doctor. Oh, no, listen, top of the food chain. And any vices I should know about? Drinking, smoking, dogging. No dogs, no pets. No, no, dogging means something. D don't worry. Cats are OK. I've got news. I got engaged. Wait, what? Very like her. Hi. Hi. It's love at first Skype. <laughs> How do you feel about possibly moving to London? She's fine with it. It's a very multicultural place. <laughs> the wedding's in Pakistan. You're still fully signed up to this. You're forgetting I've seen it work. Maybe you should focus on your own choices. You actively search out anyone who is wrong. No one can get close to you. Am I? It's half the person when I'm not with the man. Is that what you think? And just like that, all agreed, all you know why the prophet said, paradise lies at the mother's feet? There is no love greater than a mother's love for her child. Your happiness, it's all that matters. Still for you. We all need other people. There's no weakness in that. Now the party starts. And just like that. I used to think that I was scared of being with the wrong person. But now I realize that I'm scared of being with the right person. I've been very lucky to have them as neighbors. Actually, they've become like family to me since your father left for that teenage whore. She's 35. Exactly.